All right, we're done working with textures right now. I would like to point out a couple of things that you have all sorts of different choices here, and you can upload your own textures if you so choose. There's all sorts of very, 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 very cool textures and shapes and colors, and I would assume that you guys would check into all of these things. I'm not going to spend a lot of time working with it. Okay. However, there are a couple of things I do want you to be re realize that right now. Number one, I think it's a very, very bad idea to constantly reinvent the wheel. All right, I think it's wise to kind of build on other people's ideas. You are the idea guys. You're not the construction guys. So what I want you to do is we're going to use this base of models that are available to us. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you, you can go get whatever models you like to build your, put in your building. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to this box here that says download, or it says actually get models. Now, you can go anywhere on Google Models, and like, for instance, I just for the fun of it, I'm just going to download a tree just because I want to. All right, it says download model. I'm going to double click on it. It says, yep, I'm going to put it directly in here. Boom, and there's my tree, and I'm going to stick it outside where trees belong. Okay, so now you notice that I got a tree. That wasn't actually why I wanted to do it, but it just happened, as it just turned out, um, I thought that was a cool thing, so I decided to put in. But you can also download other models, and the ones I want you to do is buy a brilliant, brilliant model maker called Roscoe57. I'll let you figure out who that is. All right. And actually, these are all models that were done in the Coil Cassidy CAD 3D modeling class. All right. So you notice we have the freestanding library thing. We have the small round library tables. These, this furniture actually should look an awful lot familiar to you. All right. Um, there's the little wall units. I'm going to bring little wall units in. Why not? I'm going to download that, and I say, yes, I want to put it into the model that I've already got, and I'm going to stick it right there along that wall. Boom. Now, I'm not sure that's 100% clear, and I do need to tell you, sometimes things don't just go in the way you actually want them to, but if you take a look, it's like, wow, there it is. Isn't that cool? That's quite amazing. All right, so we have a little computer desk here. Let's go get something else that we can put in here. I'm going to download. Rosco 57. All right. And what else have we got? We got two pages here. Uh, ooh, there's hex tables, freestanding bookcase, teacher's desk. Yeah, let's put a teacher's desk in there. Why not? Say yes. And I'm going to put that somewhere over here. I'm actually going to put the teacher's desk in front of the window. And I want it to actually be turned. So I'm going to click on this tool right here. And oh, yeah, this is a very handy tool to know. You notice how there's this little round thing? Okay, you need to get it on the floor because you want it to rotate against that axis. Now, first I click to lock it in place, then I draw a line straight out and click, and now I turn it 90 degrees. And it does kind of snap into position if I'm careful. Boom. So now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm also going to rotate looking up. And there's my teacher's desk. Okay, I actually don't like where that is, so I'm going to try taking this guy and moving it more. Actually, I'm going to move it over here because I think it looks better there. And I'm going to rotate it around like this. So I'm going to click, click, and then I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees like that. And you notice that it kind of snaps into position. Now, I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking that looks a little funky. I'm wondering if I, yep, I did. I dropped the desk. Now the teacher is actually sunk down below the level of the floor. So I'm going to have to click here, and I'm going to have to click on it, and I'm going to move it straight up. And usually it snaps. It says right now, see that thing where it says on face? That should mean, if I did it right, okay, now we start getting this really, really annoying crap that always happens, okay, that you have to actually do a little bit of playing around to get it to do exactly what it is that you want. So I'm going to try one more time and see if I can move it straight. I'm going to click on, on edge of component. Let's move it straight over in front of this little wall. Boom, and now... I got my teacher's desk there. Now your job is you are going to create a, a classroom with all sorts of walls and corridors and all sorts of stuff. There is no limit. What I've just done here is a very, very, very basic, basic, basic design. All right, you guys just suspect we're going to spend more time. We're going to be getting a lot better things done. Okay, so that's it. That's all you really need to know to create any sort of building in 3D mo um, in Google SketchUp. I've shown you how to build walls and build rooms. I've shown you how to paint and color them, and now I've shown you how to add furniture. All right, you're more than welcome to use any of the furniture that I provide. If you take furniture from somewhere else, you're going to have to cite it in your project.